Welcome to Open House NYC. Today's show is all about the art, architecture, and legacy of Frank Lloyd Wright, a man who once wrote that every great architect is necessarily a great poet. So it's only fitting that I'm coming to you from Frank Lloyd Wright's masterpiece, the Solomon R. Guggenheim Museum on the Upper East Side, just steps from Central Park. Now we're going to discuss the history of this incredible building a little later. But first, let's take a look at some of his other creations. We're getting started in New Canaan, Connecticut at Tirana, one of Frank Lloyd Wright's last residential homes completed towards the end of his life in 1955. In a town with its fair share of architectural masterpieces, Tirana stands alone. Sited on 15 acres of natural beauty, each of its nearly 7,000 square feet of flowing interior space harmonizes with nature in a unique way, which is the essence of Wright's work. Hi, I'm Jim Greikar of Houlihan Lawrence. Welcome to New Canaan, Connecticut, a bucolic, elegant town nestled in the Fairfield County woods just an hour's commute north of New York City. If you're a lover of mid-century modern architecture, as I am, you can't do better than New Canaan. Major houses by significant mid-century modern architects were built here in town. By the Harvard Five, largely due to its proximity to New Haven and the Yale School of Architecture and Design. Houses by architects like Elliot Noyes, Marcel Breuer, Philip Johnson, and one, but only one, by Frank Lloyd Wright. Welcome to Tirana. Tirana is a significant house, and like other significant Frank Lloyd Wright houses, it features a red signature tile at the entry. In the entryway, Mr. Wright employed one of his favorite techniques, embrace and release. When you first walk in, the embrace comes in the form of more limited space and lower ceilings. The release comes as you enter the public space, with increased ceiling heights and a wall of windows overlooking the pond, and Narotan River. After you've taken in the view, you can really appreciate the scale and design elements of the main living dining space. Frank Lloyd Wright loved not only the interplay of different dimensions, but also of different materials. This is expressed through the use of classic elements, mahogany walls and ceilings, Cherokee red colorandum floors, and a playful use of concrete block. Next to the fireplace is an intimate conversation area, and again, you experience the embrace of the lowered ceiling and also the elegant Frank Lloyd Wright built-in furniture. It also features a Frank Lloyd Wright favorite, an iron kettle arm, and the kettle arm here at Tirana references the front gate on the property. I'm really excited to show you the rest of the house, but before I do, come with me. Love nature, study nature, stay close to nature. It will never fail you. So said Frank Lloyd Wright. Sited on 15 private acres, the house takes in all nature has to offer. And its focal point is the Narotan River and waterfall. And fittingly, the name Tirana comes from an aboriginal word meaning running waters. This part of the house is an addition that was completed in 1959, designed by Frank Lloyd Wright and executed by Taliesin West Architects, his architecture firm. It includes a family room, interior courtyard, and an elegant master suite. In this space, Wright references the elements used in the living room, including skylights and, once again, gold leaf over the fireplace. Looking across the forecourt, you can take in the lovely greenhouse the scalloping at the top references the Solomon R. Guggenheim Museum, Wright's last great public building. The rear gallery is one of my favorite spots in the house, and it leads directly to the master suite. This serene space is all about the materials. The ceiling, walls, and custom buildings are all mahogany, and they even feature the original hardware. The peaceful master suite is a world away, but if you can't sleep, don't count sheep, count stars. From your own private observatory, 
Frank Lloyd Wright's Tirana is an architectural masterpiece, both inside and out. Thank you for joining me today.